Chapman and MassCom Senior. There's great things happening in MassCom. Check out NorthAvenueNation.com for the latest student work. North Avenue Nation covers things happening on and off campus, featuring terrific interviews by MassCom students with Eli Manning, Victor Cruz, Bernie Williams, Rob Astorino, and Nia Vardalos. Also, WICR is now streaming online on Live365.com and Ustream.com. Just search WICR. All right, and we're back with the show. <laughs> All right. Uh, real nice. Quick. You know, Kenny, real quick. Kenny was making these, these th that noise. There. That is the most disgusting <laughs> noise you could ever make. Ugh, it literally makes my toes cringe. It's disgusting. How many dates have you won with those noises? How many dates have yeah. I had? Have zero. <laughs> How many dates do he said, I win? He said also dates zero. Plural. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm in on so that joke. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, so uh, start off with a little fun story I heard the other day is uh the Jack the Ripper may have been identified no a You're man kidding. in English obsessed with him uh he did like you know <laughs> DNA samples from a shawl of one of the victims and uh I forget the name of the guy but he may be was oh, a I 20, got it right here uh, oh yeah a 23 year old Polish Jewish immigrant I'm Aaron joking. Kuzminski Kaminsky, yes, of course. Kosminski. Kosminski. How interesting. You know what's yeah. funny? I was actually just thinking about this the other day because... That's weird. I know it's a weird thing to think about, but I was watching uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and you know the scene where he's talking to Gwen Stacy. That no, I try not to like, watch really stupid movies, Spring. Hey, it was a blockbuster, and I saw it, so don't judge All me. All right. Oh, yeah, hashtag we learned film about class. We did learn about blockbusters. Ha, ha. But either way, he said they still haven't found Jack the Ripper. He was wrong. They found it now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> possibly it's. Possibly. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm really a cool. really I'm a stickler for DNA evidence, man. If yeah. you find yeah. it anywhere, done. Hundred percent. That's it. All right. All I right. I fully oh, so, believe it. So if you were around for well old enough for OJ, you would have been like, nope, done. Don't care. Yeah. About the whole what was the the glove? The if the glove don't, don't fit, fit, you must you acquit. must acquit. There you go. That yeah. was the thing. Yep. Thank you. No, if there's DNA anywhere, I'm a hundred percent for it. Because you yep. were there. You were there. You did it. So another uh, uh, must have been how it went down, because you know what? In Law and Order and CSI, that's how they always get you. Oh, oh my yeah, God. you leave your hair or your eyelash I'm more of an on the dead body, well. and then you're done. Yep, that's it. And that's how I learned. Another story: uh, China <laughs> is trying to pass a policy that would encourage the use of solar power, and they believe by the end of the year they could have up to 14 gigawatts of energy to give around. That's about uh, a little over 13 times more than you would need to power a DeLorean to uh, go back <laughs> to the future. <laughs> but I do they have happens. the ability to mass produce flux capacitors? I don't think Well, if you can, can make the 14 gigawatts <laughs> required, uh, I mean, it's just 1.21 <laughs> you need to power the DeLorean. You wouldn't need the flux capacitor. Capacitor. Oh. Capacitor. You don't even know what I don't need to know what it is. When I go back to the future or back to the yeah, past. Yeah, where we're we going, we don't need roads. Yeah, where, we, where we're going, we Which don't need roads. Which is today, parking. and we need roads more than ever. <laughs> yep. In fact, there's more potholes than there were back then. So we need better roads. Yep. Reagan. That's still pretty cool. Though. You mean the actor? Cool. Solar power. Yeah. <laughs> Film class. We're having um, fun. We are having fun. Good for China. That's cool. Yeah. That is good for China, considering they have overpopulation. So I would appreciate yeah. that they use solar power versus... What, else, what do they use? Electricity? Regular yep. electricity? Uh, yeah, uh, everything else. They use. So, uh, as well, Could've President Obama gas. announced that the U.S. military will be providing a little bit of equipment and aid with the Ebola virus epidemic going on in Africa to help, uh, you know, try and, I guess, contain it. Because I heard stories that uh, uh, the World Health Organization said there's people with the virus getting on planes to go to other countries that don't have it. So they're like, we need help. Yeah, Libya's. Uh, I'm sorry. Libya's all about I the like Ebola. I spaced right out now. for a second, and Dude, I almost Ebola. thought Ebola. No, no, no. Ebola. I thought he almost said that there's someone on the plane that has Ebola that's trying to send it to other countries. <laughs> I Imagine don't there was why. just one I guy on the plane that we would have to lick other people. Would you? Would that you would really be like a great a ending for. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's like a really rabid terrorist you running know, around on planes licking people. Take a second to think about that. They've, I am thinking done about that. Things. That would be like a kind of action movie. Like you just looks at him. He looks sickly. That would be a great and comedy. Then, that yeah. would be a great comedy. <laughs> it'd be a buddy. It'd, it'd be, be a. a <laughs> it'd be a buddy cop comedy. I think. 
<laughs> and then they're like, I know so many people. Oh, my God, Murphy, summer. we have to stop the <laughs> polar patient on plane. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's just licking people. <laughs> they, I, like, licking there's people. So many, there's, there, I know so, so many people over the do. summer who were so afraid of contracting Ebola. Yeah. I know. My boyfriend thought he had Ebola. And I was like, guys, listen, unless you are <laughs> the, f- in contact with yeah. the bodily fluids of an Ebola patient, well, he could have been be going fine. around drinking out of their straws. Oh, well, he course. shouldn't do that. <laughs> well, it's not Use like your own it's straw, not like Mr. Spring. Hey, yeah, like, hey, I, hey, we I can't all like afford to get new straws when other people use That's them. That's what right? I'm trying to say. I like to recycle. Thank you. Also, Thank you. I think understands. we should write a movie with a terrorist Ebola patient <laughs> on a plane <laughs> or a bus or train, whatever mode of transportation you'd like, <laughs> whatever mass people. transit that you seem be, fit. Like, Kenny, you act like there's no other way yeah. to really. He spits no, that's pretty much it. I mean, they would just spit. On, imagine they had a big fan and they would spit into the fan and then the fans <laughs> they had my, spew it all. Or they had your water gator. bottle and yes. just squirted at people. Filled up an entire squirt I'm bottle sorry, with I saliva. Ebola <laughs> inflicted saliva. I feel like That's I'd good. make sure one of the victims is Owen Wilson. <laughs> oh, hey, what the heck? You just sprayed me with Ebola. <laughs> And then, and then the bioterrorist could look in and be like, hey, wait a second, aren't you Owen Wilson? <laughs> I don't have an Owen Wilson impression, but that was pretty good. Yeah, I, my nose can't get big enough for that impression. So I, I, I his I nose would hit this his nose. Fine, so Fine, let me retry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Anywho. So, uh, how do you feel about with... Obama sending aid to help? Well, I mean, I guess it's important to not let everybody... I suppose it's expected, it. considering yeah, it we're supposed to be the policemen of the Ooh, world, yay. and we're supposed to help, so I'm yeah. not surprised. I'm excited for his, his speech tomorrow. Yeah, he, I was uh, just about to get to that. He's talking with like a little committee today about how to handle yeah. ISIS. Yeah, he met Probably. with, yeah, he like, met with congressional pretty... leaders yesterday yep. and, and today, and mm-hmm. he's going to come out tomorrow and give us the plan that it's, you know... What do you think he's going to do? Well, he said um, that there will be no ground troops, yeah. which is good news Okay. to me, anyway. Um, for now. Well, I think... Hopefully it, forever. Yeah, I think it helps that, like, it's not like uh, other things where it's just America running into a problem. It's the yeah. a lot of other... There are a lot are, of other countries. And you know what? I, I actually... I was watching an interview on CNN last night and... The I, CNN? The CNN uh, <laughs> last night. And I do not remember who it was with, so it kind of takes away my credibility. However, I mm-hmm. watched it. I was there, I promise. And, I mean, I don't, I don't keep track um, of, like, a little roster yeah. of CNN reporters. <laughs> and, um... Uh, you know, uh, obviously, when it comes to Islam and and Muslims, uh, you know, people get nervous. Yeah, and, and all the time. And it's you know, kind of incomprehensible sometimes. Mm-hmm. But um, he was saying that if if you are under the impression that um, Muslims around the world are not denouncing the actions of ISIS, you you are living under a very big rock. See, and I tell my father yep. that all the time because he believes that Muslims are all against us. And I said that's a horrible generalization to yep. have. Yeah, there's 1.3 billion Muslims exactly. on, so on the planet Earth. And if they were all against us, we'd probably be We would I, be. Yeah, I actually even heard like uh, uh, people that come from England that are going to fight with ISIS. Like mm-hmm. within weeks of getting there, they realize, yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. And they want to go back. Yep, but England's trying to pass like uh, laws and everything that if you go and join ISIS, you lose your citizenship. You can yep. never uh, come back. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, good coming out. I mean, I don't want to say good coming out of this, but it's also a world fight, and you can tell yep. that the world, mm-hmm. to for the most part, you know, except for some, you know, rogue nation states, you know, like That's Turkey and yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But you know, um, it's it's. I don't want to say it's good. But it's good to see that we're everybody's united. kind of on the same page yeah. a little bit. Especially yeah. when we're always against each other. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see what happens tomorrow. I'm, I'm very interested for yeah. for the plan. Yep. Sorry, I, I have a water bottle that every time I drink it, it makes the weirdest noise. Yeah, I heard. You heard it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to avoid it. I'm so sorry. So uh, another sports-related topic. The, one of the Atlanta out. Hawks owner, which is a basketball team. Oh, yeah, did you spring, hear about this spring? He is selling his part of the company because uh, he sent a racist email. What's the racist email? So it was like, uh, I believe it's, you know, he was talking about the attendance at the stadium. He was saying, yeah, it's uh, too black. The music we play is too hip-hop. It's 
Oh it's things God. that if you were to send an email like that and be business like you'd reword everything to be like hey maybe we can try and diversify yeah. the audience or maybe yeah. mix up the music you don't say things like oh it's too black that's yep. what is, what is up with all these uh, well you know what here's the thing racism. Uh, i'm gonna uh talk about this man for a little bit so okay. jump in where you, you know you see just, fit just yeah. just so i can like wait, also is this a, the same this group really quick? yes this okay. is what? basketball this is yeah. hilarious but hold on. to me but go ahead but hold on because the same group and the same man also own the atlanta thrashers who are a hockey team when okay. they when they existed in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and the same kind of context was used for that team. Mm -hmm. He um, created, you know, he started uh, accumulating, and it's it's actually pretty incredible when you think about it. There's there's not that many African American players in the National Hockey League, mm -hmm. but he acquired in his tenure. Uh, with the Atlanta Thrashers, they acquired 20% of all of the African-American players in the league mm -hmm. onto one team. That is pretty impressive. And started marketing them to the city to try and get a bigger crowd. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, it it's actually pretty clever, mm -hmm. you could say, because first and foremost, he is a businessman, yeah. and his job is to make money. Yeah. Um his job, though, as an owner, is to make sure that the team wins, right? And that, it, it, in sports, winning is always the best marketing tool you can have. If you lose, nobody wants to watch you lose. I don't know. I mean, right? people will still watch the Jets. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? They're, they're, they're in New York. There's I'm a difference between Atlanta and New York, right? Mm -hmm. Right? New York is New York. Atlanta is Atlanta. Okay. So there's a difference there. But if you lose... See, and this is, this is where... Because, like... And people are going to say, well, nobody goes to Mets games. Well, there's a difference between Queens and the Bronx. Exactly. And the Yankees, who have been mm -hmm. around for 100 and 100 billion, gillion, bajillion, gigawatt crazy. years. Gigawatt oh, Gigawatts. <laughs> oh, we're talking about gigawatts. And then, the you know what I mean? <laughs> so there's a difference between the Mets and the Yankees. Yeah. Right? There's a difference between the Islanders and the Rangers, who play in Madison Square Garden. And the Devils. There's a difference between the Knicks and the Nets. There's a difference between the... The, the, the we got it, though. You Everything, know what I mean? Yeah. I got okay. your point, Here yeah. I think I ran out of New York teams. Uh, uh, you yeah, forgot all the Buffalo teams. Yeah, though. they don't count. Ironically. Um, <laughs> so, it was clever. He made a very clever move as the owner of the Atlanta Thrashers. Now, when he sold the team, and his group sold the team, they moved back to Winnipeg. No, Calgary, I thought. <clears throat> Winnipeg. Oh, Don't then. test me. Ooh. Don't test me. See, you notice how I'm staying quiet just because I... <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> It was never with that, yeah, man. Yeah. That's the way I like it. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. No. So, they moved back to Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And okay. Um, okay. then the same group obviously owns the Atlanta Hawks. And his theory was that uh, white members of the community are more affluent. They can buy more. The Thrashers, merchandise purchasing was three times the amount of Hawks purchasing. So because black people are going to the games, they don't buy anything because they're poor and we lose money. So he's that's basically what he's saying. Really? Yeah. Um, so, and like Brian said, which is a very good point, there's also something to be said for the man who wants, you know, wants to make money. Mm -hmm. So he yeah. wants to hypothetically include yeah. people right so that's exactly. that's hypothetically his position is we need to be more inclusive and that makes sense as a businessman and as a team owner mm -hmm. however the way he worded it and the way that he went about doing so is inappropriate. wrong is inappropriate I'm not a and professional. at the very you know possible at the very root of the situation he just wants to get out on the team yeah what you said what? Uh, i don't he, think he wants maybe he doesn't want to own the team anymore that's what i thought you said that's yeah yeah so you think he did this It's one of perfectly. the easiest ways to get out. Just put the I mean, I'm a racist card? He sold almost. himself out. Yeah. He, oh, he did? He yeah. self-outed himself to the commissioner. Wow. Although I think, do you think, because uh, there are co-owners maybe, whoever got the email, someone must have saw it and probably said like, hey, I think I'm going to try and extort money out of you. So maybe it was like his way maybe. of saying, okay, I'll beat you to the punch. I'll out myself. I'll look a yeah. little bit better than, you it's know, very Sterling. Possible. He, for me, though, the, the guy's not like the, you know, best least sleazy guy 
mm-hmm. in the world. So I, well, I compared to who was the other guy with his Sterling. Girlfriend? Sterling. Sterling. I, I think that kind of I, I think he's just. Tr- I honestly think he's just trying to get out of yeah. his his uh, share on the team. You did a good way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did a and good uh, work. another thing that happened during the whole Ray Rice fiasco yesterday, Penn State now is eligible for postseason play, it. and all their scholarships are restored. I after I do not even want to think about it. Yeah, so disgusting. Just in case you're. Thank you, because I'll, I'll explain I, it to you. When spring and sports, they yeah. never go together. Disgusting. <laughs> so it's uh, Penn State after Sandusky and Paterno and all that. They got sanctions against them, saying for so many years you can't play postseason. Uh, we're reducing all the scholarships for sports, mm-hmm. and uh, you know a few years passed since then, obviously, and uh, during Ray Rice's you know video being shown and him getting kicked off. Uh, nobody really talked about how, you know, now NCAA has lifted the ban. They can play postseason. They have all their scholarships. So it's only been about two years. What was it supposed to be? It, 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 it was like very reduced scholarships. Like maybe it started out cut in half. So how many could, years were the were the bans? I think it was eight. Yeah, they had a few good couple of years maybe it was left. Four. I don't. I don't remember. Um, uh, hold on. Yeah, we're getting, <laughs> I love how he gets we're getting an expert opinion yeah. right now from Jersey Joe. Jersey Joe, his show is on when? Yeah, can't tell you right now. Yeah, whenever he's on. <laughs> when he's, I find out when he's, he's on, I'll definitely. He's here usually like in the mornings with Kenny on yeah. Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays, mm-hmm. you can hear Jersey Joe talk about sports and wear jerseys. <laughs> and wear jerseys exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't want to say. Having a full blown conversation Sorry. right now, just letting you know. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cute. It is kind of cute. So I bet you could hear the background noise. Yeah. Well, okay. So anyway, the the moral of the story, and I want Joe to hear this, because we talked about it last year, um, and I kind of want Ian to hear it, because I'm interested. Yeah, Ian needs to stay <laughs> yeah, Ian's and how Ian also. And how Ian thinks. Um, the fact that these bans have been lifted on Penn State is uh, morally disgusting from the NCAA. Um they made the right decision, in my opinion, mm-hmm. when they when they came down with these sanctions. Granted, they were harsh. They were very harsh. But for such an affluent athletic program as they had in Penn State, they were getting by. They were doing yeah, just fine. They didn't fine. have, like, terrible seasons after nope. that. So. No, they didn't. You know why? Because they make millions of dollars on their athletic program, and they continued to do so even with the sanctions. Now, I don't care about the money. Mm-hmm. I do care, though, about the people who are affected by this situation and by the sodomizing of children yep. in the Penn State football program it's for how many team. years, mm-hmm. and now it's over. Yep. Now it's over. Just like that. Yes, Jerry Sandusky is in jail. Yes, Joe Paterno is no longer with us. What Didn't like they also kind of like take away his record? I heard something like maybe his record was a little like yeah, they, not uh, recognizing. They him. took away the the games that they won while he was there and and stuff like that. But it it's it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's now it's moot. It's nothing. It didn't mean a thing. All the fighting that these people did is gone now. Everything yeah. that they worked for, all the awareness that they that they raised, is gone. So it kind of almost seems as if like the NCAA was waiting for a moment like this where you have someone like Ray Rice, something like Ray Rice's video being released and all of that controversy to like slip under the cracks and just say, okay, now yeah. we've got a chance to not be the big story. Very possibly, very possibly. And, and the the thing that you know really stings me the most is that people are going to say it was Sandusky's fault, maybe a little Paterno, even though people still will go to the grave protecting Joe Paterno because he was a good football coach. They um they'll say oh Sandusky's in jail so we we got the guy it doesn't matter anymore no it was an entire system that fell apart it was the entire yeah. system that allowed this to happen for however many years that it happened it was an entire system that allowed a man who they knew was harassing children to continue that, to, to harass why that children name sounds so familiar Sandusky? I remember Joe Paterno no oh, Paterno he was uh, the head Paterno coach was the head coach yeah. who knew State. that it was happening that's exactly the yes. athletic okay. director knew that it was happening I remember him now the entire program knew that it was happening mm-hmm. Penn State knew that it they was just happening turned a blind eye I remember this yeah, yeah. Another, I know like there's another one two that turned pe- a blind eye 
it's like, uh, I believe two of them still are gonna f be facing trial for, like, not, uh, talking about going to the proper authorities and just kind of, yeah. like, shoving it away. So, it's, it's hard to have their day in court, it's but still, I agree with you, the sanctions against Penn State should have been kept, because even though they didn't have bad seasons after, which everyone, I think, was kind of hoping for, it's more of just like, yeah, everyone, I would. I, I have don't. friends who go to Penn State. They're not really friends anymore because of my opinions on Penn State. Yeah. Um, they really, they really, they wow. love their Penn State football. Yeah, I've got wow. like friends it's that go America. to Penn State. It's America. That's pretty heavy. Uh, I think love. everyone was kind of like hoping they'd have bad seasons, but. Yeah. It, I think Everybody more, who didn't go to Penn State was hoping that they'd be awful. Yeah, but I think it's just, you know. Didn't everyone they have like a huge riot or yep. something? Yep. Yeah. They did, right? Because they were also taking out the Paterno yeah. statue. they were mad that their football coach got fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The they were just... whining because a good football coach. Football. This is f college football. They don't On even get paid. Yeah. It's oh. college sports. Hey, I think we're only talking about that because Iona doesn't have a football team right now. I don't. I hate. I hate. Hate. Hate is a strong word, I know hate and is a strong I word. hate. I can see it in your college mind. sports. Yeah, I'm with a burning it. passion. I love sports. I'm a big sports fan. I, I love it all. I, you know, I love it. Sports is great. Sports is how everything should be. Wonderful. Winner, loser, go mm -hmm. home, done, and that's it. And then you go home, and you're okay because you go home to your family and you have dinner, and then you go so to you're practice. At the end of the day, it's just back. a game. Yes. Okay. And it's wonderful, though, because it's such an escape from everything else mm -hmm. that's happening in the world. There's ISIS and the, the Ebola. And, and then, then, then China you know with the gigawatt. Yeah, going and then the gigawatts the and going back and forth. And, and then, then we have people like Ray Rice, Joe Paterno. I, yes. What was his exactly. name? Exactly. Joe Paterno, Jerry Sandusky, yeah, Ray Rice, Ray Lewis. People who do issues. things that are so much bigger and their than job a is sport to entertain it's just you if, when it comes down to it their job is literally to catch a ball their job no <laughs> their job is to work out and stay in shape catch the ball yeah well that also that's well, i mean job. you could say that about anything like our job right now is just to talk yes. into a mic yes and isn't that wonderful but isn't that the beauty in it exactly oh yeah because when this show's it's over it's over it's over but there's so much and if i ran over a man with my car when i left here well i'd get in trouble because that's bigger than the radio show. Because that's real life. Football is not real life. Especially college football is not real life. I see it's that you're getting real worked up. really now. fake. It's all just fake. My, my it's biggest a facade. thing that I don't like about college football is all the different bowls. Because I never know which ones I Yeah, I, my favorite is the Tostitos Bowl. Oh, yeah. You can oh, imagine my why. goodness. <laughs> now, it's but a real bowl. Really it's it's, yeah. it's really, it's true. There is a Tostitos Bowl. Did not know. It's yeah. an actual game. Yeah. And people eat Tostitos during <laughs> the Tostitos Bowl. Now, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> so to get, thank you, Brian. So to go no back problem. to the, you know, base of this argument is that, oh, I don't remember. Uh, that, you know, we were talking about bands being lifted on Penn State. Oh, is that the, the people were mad about their head football coach being fired? Yes. Yeah. Right. Who allowed a man who he knew mm -hmm. was sodomizing and molesting young boys yeah. to continue to do so. Yeah. And they were mad because their football team, their college, their collegiate football team, college football team, could not play in a fabricated Post championship nothing. They couldn't play in the Tostitos Bowl. Well, I mean, I'd be disappointed if they I couldn't, couldn't play, play in the Tostitos Bowl. in the Yankee Stadium Bowl. That's what they're mad about. That is, men and, well, that is and the, well, I mean, I mean, the thing. You put, the a, you put a lot of emphasis on the Tostitos Bowl, so I think well, you I might. Well, I love Tostitos. What is it's not like, my fault. So what if I went to your house, you're eating your way. Tostitos, you got a little, like, various dips, like, you know, you got sauce over there, nacho guacamole. cheese, guacamole, <laughs> and I just come and I take your Tostitos. Guacamole. You know what? I'd be pissed, yeah. and I'd probably call the cops, because you just stole my things, Brian. You just came into my home, uninvited, yeah. unannounced, and you took my chips. Well, I figured I'd get invited. And I don't stand for that. I'm not a big guac fan. I Me mean, neither. Some guacamole. avocados can get it, yeah. get nasty. I mean, I take the nacho cheese and salsa because I know that's... No, you that, mix it. I don't like nacho cheese. You mix. Actually, no, I thought I you were going to mix. I thought cheese. you were going to go there. Over salsa. No. <laughs> oh, he just no. changed you. You, saw his you know what I, I like to do? And this is a nice note to end on. I like to take the Tostitos, right? Put them on a nice big plate. Get some of that craft cheese, 
I love oh. my craft cheese. Okay. Put that on top. Microwave. Boom. So what I microwave it for a good thirty. Yeah, I actually did that the other night. It was uh, I had Tostitos scoops. Yeah. Now what I did is uh, that sriracha sauce. Oh. I, if it was like a full scoop, I put the sriracha in it. Oh. And then I layered cheese oh over God, it. Kenny. So <laughs> you take a bite. It's and 10 a.m. It explode, and I want mouth. nachos. Okay. That's yeah. what I want with me right Sriracha now. Sriracha. We, we completely go from <laughs> a serious topic to wow. Tostinos. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I put it in the microwave. It's not done yet. I put it in the microwave, melt it a little bit, not too much, so maybe 15, yep. 20 mm-hmm. seconds, depending on the power of your microwave, really. And then I go from the microwave right back to the countertop, right? Throw a little lettuce, right? Throw a little salsa. Salsa. Some salsa. 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 Then you get it on the. Then you get some more shredded cheese. I'm a big cheese man. Now you shred this cheese. This is this is shredded. You don't want the the craft cheese. You want the shredded. Okay. Because okay, I thought you meant the other. No, no, no. Square cheese. Like so you put the shredded on it, right? So then you take the shredded and then you put it in the oven, because you need to cook these Jesus. cheeses and these sauces together. Okay. So they can all absorb each other. They can sponge one another and they can be wonderful. Then you take it from the oven, throw some sour cream, grab a chip, enjoy yourself a nice Tostitos bowl. And the that, true Tostitos my friends, bowl. is how he made spring hungry because now I need some peanut butter in my life. <laughs> that, my friends, is how this <laughs> happened. That's why he's in that seat. Yeah, it's the skinny seat because the table blocks my belly. The, oh my goodness. What? Are those my headphones? Well, maybe. <gasps> And mystery My prayers have been answered. I think this is a beautiful way to end the show. I'm what so happy right now. a beautiful way to end the show. I've been looking for these all We talked about nachos. Week. Nachos. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy. Like, this isn't even fake. Like, I'm genuinely happy. Things just work out on the morning show. Yep. And we we'll be back. Yep. We'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow morning. It'll be myself, Joe, and Armand. And I'll be back next week. Yeah, you On will. Tuesdays. I really liked to you on the show, Brian. Thank you. Aww. With your voice. Yeah. With your nice voice, voice and your things. Yeah, yeah. the voice. I'll be back it. on Thursday and Friday. Yep. Thursday voice Friday. and things in the, the Goyne yep. All right. All right. Well, you guys have a good day. Peace. You too. You guys have All fun right. in your classes. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>